good morning students today's topic is a new era of com conflict and violence this topic objectives are understand different causes of com conflict understand jobs at risk for conflict learn the outcomes of conflict these are the objectives of this topic and the introduction of a new era of conflict and violence is the nature of conflict and violence has transformed substantially since the un was founded 75 years ago conflicts now tend to be less deadly and often waged waged between domestic groups rather than states and the need the homicide are becoming more frequent in some part of the world while gender based attacks are increasing globally the long term impact on development of interpersonal violence including violence against children is also more widely recognized and this picture also these the violence is there and the separately separately technological advances have raised and concerns about lethal autonomous weapons and cyber attacks the weaponization of bots and drones and the live streaming of extremist attacks and there has also been a rise in criminal activity involving data hacks and ren reno where renso where of example meanwhile international cooperation is under strain the minimizing global potential for the prevention and resolution of conflict and violence in all forms and the this picture harmful effects of violence and the enter dust conflict globally the absolute number of war deaths has been declining since 1946 and conflict and violence are currently on the rise with many conflicts today waged between non state actors such as political militias criminal and international terror terrorist group and in the unresolved regional tensions a breakdown in the rule of law absent or co 
opted state institutions elect economic gain and the scarcity of resources ex exacerbated by climate change have become dominant drivers of conflict and in 2016 the more countries experienced violent conflict then at any point in almost 30 years at the same time conflicts are becoming more fragmented for example the number of armed groups involved in the siren civil war has mushroomed from 8 to several thousand since the outbreak of the conflict and furthermore the regionalization of conflict which interlinks political socio economic and military issues across borders has seen many conflicts become longer more protected and less responsive to traditional forms of resolution and the next is the organized crime urban and domestic violence today crime skills far more people than armed conflict in 2017 almost half a million people across the world were killed in homicides for surpassing the 89000 killed in active armed conflicts and the 19000 killed in terrorist attack this type of terror attack if homicide rates keep climbing at the current rate of 4% then sustainable development goals 16 which includes a target to significantly reduce all form of violence and related death rates everywhere will not be met by 2030 and the organized crime and gang violence in the very widely across region countries in the american americas have the world homicide rates by a wide margin accounting for 37% of the global total in a really region that accounts for only 13% of the world's population and these populated political is instability and genders organized crime including 
targeted attacks against police, women, journalists, and marginal. Prince, meanwhile, political violence no longer affects only low income states. In the past 15 years, more than half of the world's population has lived in direct contact or proximity to significant political violence. And for women and girls, the home rem remains the most dangerous place. Some 58% of female homicides were carried out by in initiate partners or family members in 2017, up from 47% in 2012. And the women bear the heaviest burden of lethal victimization, often as a result of mis- Ognistic beliefs, inequality, and dependency, which persist globally, especially in low income country, and the women and girls are in violent extremes, while terrorism remains widespread. Its impact has been waning in recent years. Globally, the number of deaths attributed to terrorism dropped for a third consecutive year. In 2018 to under 19,000. And attacks have become less lethal as governments step up counter terrorism efforts, regional and international coordination and programs to prevent and counter violent extremes. In 2017, a fifth of terrorist attacks were unsuccessful compared with just over 12% in 2014. In this violent extremes, the conflict remains the primary driver of terrorism, with more than 99% of all terrorist related deaths occurring in countries involved in a violent conflict or with high level of political terror. In this political terror, the majority of deadly attacks take place in the Middle East, North Africa, and Sub-Saharan Africa, with Afghanistan, Iraq, Nigeria, Somalia, and Syria, bearing the heaviest 
burden. And in country with the high levels of economic development, social alienation, lack of economic opportunity, and state involvement in an external conflict are the major drivers of terrorist activity. In Western Europe, terrorism-related deaths have fallen dramatically in the past few years. But the number of incidents has increased. And there has been a sizable increase in the number of attacks carried out by actors with far-right white nationalist or anti-Muslim beliefs in both Western Europe and North America in the past two decades. The number of incidents across the two regions increased from three in 2002 to 59 in 2017, with the social media playing a crucial role, role in the dissemination of xenophobic speech and incitement to violence. An extremist groups, extremist groups today have unprecedented access to the general public through the internet which allows for more efficient and effective requ requirement, inc incitement and propaganda as well as the purchase of weapons and unregulated money transfers. And the both state and non-state actors can also use L-enabled deep learning to create deep fakes, which create seemingly real footage of people speaking words they never uttered and have the potential to fuel misinformation, divisions, and political instability. These are the intermist group and the new technologies Technological advances are contributing to the changing nature of, of conflict. There are concerns about the potential for artificial intelligence.
and machine learning to enhance cyber physical and biological attacks and for example by making them more finely targeted harder to attribute and easier for small groups perhaps even lone wolf to carry out in this new technologies the emerging technologies are lowering lowering the barriers to the acquisition of biological weapons toxic substances or diseases used to harm or skill humans live stock and crops and the emerging technologies there are concerns that advances in ai and 3d printing could facilitate biological attacks by automating the development and production of the weapons and the systems that develop them and there is also mounting international concern over the development of so called lethal autonomous weapons laws which could identify and engage a specific target without human guidance thereby transferring responsibility over life and death from human moral systems to complex data system devoid of an ethical campus and the un secretary general secretary general has called for fully autonomous weapons to be prohibited by international law as have over 30 nations and the perhaps the most prevalent modern day threat is that of cyber attacks according to I, ibm's x force incident response and intelligence services the number of cyber attacks doubled in the first half of 2019 in comparison with the second half of 
most of the targeting manufacturers oil and gas companies and educational institutions these are the owners of critical infrastructure and are especially at risk as malicious actors seek to target airport control towers nuclear power plants and hospitals and dams over the past year more than a hundred cyber incidents with the potential to undermine international peace and security with identified such attacks would cause substantial damage and cause causality casualties and on the flip side advance in ai and other technologies also provide new tools and preventive strategies for police and country country intelligence agencies and better prevent attacks and identify perpetrators but here to there are risk why the risk for example predictive policy link comes with its own downsides including inbuilt racial and religious biases which can and gender red radicalization to join violent extremism and the ne- uh, the nuclear threat today's we are witnessing the unraveling of the international arms control architecture and a gradual back tracking on established arms control agreements which have supported global stability restraint and transparency the continued existence of nuclear weapons poses an ever generator threat to the survival of humanity and these survivals while the number of nuclear weapons has dropped from more than 60000 during the cold war to around 14000 today nuclear weapons are more powerful today at the same time relations between nuclear armed states are fair, 
varying and divisions over the pace and scales of this amendment are growing and uh, when the intermediate range nuclear forces nif and inf treaty treaty ended in august 2019 the un secretary general deplored the loss of an invaluable break on nuclear war the new strategic arms reduction treaty treaty new start faces a similar dimensions and the dimensions the total elimination of nuclear weapons can still be achieved but it will require a renewed commitment to trust and cooperation between the world's most powerful countries the secretary general has called on states to renew favor on outstanding and current arms control agreements and the looking forward in 1945 the union was primarily designed as a tool to manage interstate relations as the world relate relate from the honors of two worlds world wars while today's world is in many ways safer the nature of threat has involved considerably and the new more complex and more sophisticated threats require immediate tative and bold responses and strengthened collaboration between states as well as the private sector and civil society and institutional boundaries must also be breached so that political human rights and development partners can work in concert and the this is the causes of conflict the causes of conflict first is the relationship conflicts relationship conflict is the miscommunication second the strong emotions and the stereotyping 
एंड रिपीटेटिव नेगेटिव बिहेवियर दिस इज द रिलेशनशिप कॉन्फ्लिक्ट एंड वी सी द डाटा कॉन्फ्लिक्ट डाटा कॉन्फ्लिक्ट फर्स्ट इज द लेक ऑफ इंफॉर्मेशन एंड मिस इंफॉर्मेशन डिफरिंग व्यूज ऑन डाटा रिलेवेंस एंड द नेक्स्ट इज द डिफरिंग इंटरप्रिटेन टेंशन एंड द नेक्स्ट इज इंटरेस्ट कॉन्फ्लिक्ट इन दिस कॉन्फ्लिक्ट प्रिसिवाइज और एक्चुअल कॉन्फ्लिक्ट ओवर इंटरेस्ट एंड प्रोसीजुअल इंटरेस्ट एंड साइकोलॉजिकल इंटरेस्ट ऑल्सो एंड द वैल्यू कॉन्फ्लिक्ट different ways of life ideology world view etc different criteria for evaluating ideas and the last is the structural conflicts the structural conflicts is unequal authority unequal control of resources and time constraints these all are the cause of conflict and the evidences shows the negative impacts of violence on households and forms causes a drop of production through four broad channels first is the violence destroys public and private assets thereby decreasing the productive capacity of the firms and aggressions against the population erode human capital by killing and maiming as well as reducing school enrollment and deteriorating the health conditions of the populations and the broad channels the violent shocks reduce market efficiency by contracting the supply of goods increasing transactions cost and shrinking the size of trade networks and the conflict imposes additional costs beyond destructions by increasing uncertainty and risk conflict forces households and firms to change behavior to avoid 
being targeted or to minimize the potential loses after an attack farms are clo closed agricultural producers prefer to cultivate crops of low risk and low low returns and households use cattle to cover drops in income these are the conflicts and violent in the cities and the negative effects of conflict negative effects of conflict first of all unhappiness and fear next is poor self esteem withdrawals anger confusion negative thoughts frustrations and stress these all are the negative effects of conflict and the next is the during during the last decade there has been a particular focus of research on the economic and social impact of conflict the evidence that has emerged shows that armed conflict takes a heavy toll on development and the welfare of the population that are subject to such continued violence and while this is not surprising at all it can be extremely diverse dating understanding the cause and implication of this type of violence on the last decade and there has been the individual and communities will only enable us to lessen the negative impact and the violence are self directed violence refers to violence in which the perpetrator and the victim are the same individual and is subdivided subdivided into self abuse and suicide 
and interpersonal violence refers to violence between individuals and is subdivided into family and any intimate partner violence and community violence the former category includes child maltreatment treatment intimate partner violence and clear elder abuse while the later is broken down into acquaintance and stranger violence and includes youth violence assault by strangers violence related to property crimes and violence in workplaces and other institutions and the collective violence refers to violence committed by larger groups of individuals and can be subdivided into social political and economic violence these are the violence in between individual and subdivided into family and these violence in this picture is the source of conflict the source of conflict differences in objectives values and perceptions disagreements about role requirements work activities individual approaches and break downs in communication these are the source of conflict and the transform transactions cost of armed conflict violence during armed conflicts causes destruction and limits market transaction public and private assets are destroyed people are maimed and or killed and markets shrink as a result of higher transaction cost in addition people change their behavior to survive a mind violence thus instead instead of maximizing profits the population the dedicates most of its effort on avoiding victimization and increasing their chance of survival both dynamics decrease 
the income of the people living in conflict. Push some families into poverty and create poverty traps difficult to overcome. This is the transaction cost of armed conflict. At the end of the topic, some references is there. These are the references of this, this topic. And the next is some multiple choice questions. First of all, first question is social problem means. Social problem means state of affairs, moral approach to problem, personal problem, family problem. The right answer of this question is state of affairs. And the next question, which is not a type of alcoholic drinkers. Rare drinker, light drinker, non-drinker, heavy drinker. Which of which is not a type of alcoholic drinker? This is this answer is non-drinker. And the next question is female participate. Evade teasing is an example of criminal violence, domestic violence, social violence, and all of the above. The answer of this question is social violence. Social violence is the right answer. And the next question, dowry deaths. Wife bettering is an example of criminal violence, domestic violence, social violence, and all of the above. The right answer of this question is domestic violence. And the next question is crime against means crime violence, domestic violence, social violence, all of the above. The right answer is all of the above. And next question, rape, abduction, murder is an example of criminal violence, domestic violence, social violence, and all of the above. The answer of this question is all of the above. And the next question, which is the social cause of juvenile line delinquency? Delinquencies are broken homes, poverty, beggary, all of the above. The answer of this question is all of the above. The next question, which of the following is not source of social problem? Social change, poverty, personal development, and personal disorganization. The answer of this question is 
personal development. This is the answer of this question. The next question is, what is the cause of poverty? Individual, culture and subculture, social structure, and all of the above. The answer of this question is all of the above. And the next question is, in honor, honor killing, it is a murder committed by neighbor, family, family member, enemy, unknown. What is the answer? The answer of this question is, unknown unknown is in our honor killing it is a murder committed by unknown so the answer of this question is unknown and this is all about the topic a new era of conflict and violence this is the topic the this day and the end of the topic thank you